So now we need data. So it's time to talk about how we're going to organize this data. This function expects the data to be written. If we look at the order, right, the red pixel that we specified first shows up here. Then the green pixel we specified second shows up here. So it's extracting the data in row order. So we're going to get this many bits of data. So, so this many are columns, bits of data. Then we're going to move down to the next row. So we're going to need to remember that. But for right now, we're not going to care. We're just going to say that we get a blank view. So std span of colors. And this is going to be our color data. How are we going to spit out the data? Well, we're going to loop over every bit of color in our color data. And we're going to output the red. So C dot red, and then a space, and then C dot uh, green, and then a space, and then C dot blue, and then a new one. So this will give us all of our color data with one pixel on each line. The last thing, just for completeness' sake, is we're going to return out with a call to std flush. And this will just make sure that everything we wrote here gets printed out to the file. So there is a little bug here. The data that we wrote out, it's trying to do binary encoding of the characters, and that's not really working. So we'll just tell it to print out the characters as the integer form.